we're good. One moment while I switch to the game display. I'm actually sort of awake for that today, so... Round of applause. Ha! <laughs> ah! Ah! My... My ear balls! <laughs> Missed a step. Welcome, one and all, to... It's probably not going to be the last episode of this game. Um... Rain Gride. I got a little bit of grinding in because after meeting that final boss last week, I realized pretty quickly I needed it. Um, forgot to watch over part of that last stream, too. I wanted to remember what I was trying to um, obtain, and I need to go back over that at some point. But uh, regardless, I did manage to get a few gems uh, a little earlier today. Thank God I was off work this weekend. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep on in that vein, uh, get a little bit more practice, because I think that even even if I do get the gems that I need to make the parts that I need, probably going to need some practice on the controls, because my handiwork hadn't been great. So, let's see, where am I? I'm going to take a peek through the setup here. I think it was in the... I think it was these gems here that were... What I, yeah, that was it. That was the thing. Okay, I remembered having a elemental issue last time and needing to get a different element for my frame. So, uh, one moment. Ah. And I believe it was this one because I remember those two little horizontal orange gems. So, Let's see, without further ado, -do, go on and make that thing. Uh, where are we at? Combine. Oh, oh, there we go. That's nice and simple. Ooh. Now, even with this alone, I don't see this basically giving me some super boost against the boss or whatever, but it's nice to have another piece of the puzzle, so odd to see those gigantic little... Well, contradiction in terms. It's odd to see those uh, gigantic gems make a little blue hockey puck, but oh, come on. But, regardless, it is what it is. Onward! Uh. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of grinding in earlier, but at least I got enough to do that. So, that was, uh, that was something. You know, a little bit of a time in set up. A little bit of time in um, learning the controls a bit better. Um, and a, a little bit about the AI, too. It seems that the AI is heavily predisposed toward getting behind you. At least that's the way it seemed to me, that they frequently want to either get behind you in melee, or get at range and and blast away at you. If Especially if they don't have Squires. I'm still trying to remember all the terminology in this game. That's the bad thing about going from game to game, bouncing back and forth. Terminology and lore don't, don't stick as well as they should. Uh, let's see. Well, hmm. Quick side note, anyone pops into this within the next couple seconds and hits the delay. Yeah, Team Four Stars covering some of the E3 coverage. I think they, uh, got the Microsoft thing. So if you go over to Team Four Stars' channel, they got that going. I don't blame anyone for going to see that, because those guys are fun. And I will be watching that in the archives at some point right after this, because I want to see the Microsoft coverage. Hopefully they'll have something for PC users, as I don't own an Xbox One. Um, yeah. Well, I think that's about all the warm-up I can do. I'm gonna hop right into it. Now, a lot of the time I've played this game, I mean, I've seen all these little arenas... Ooh, I forgot about this one. I've seen these various arenas uh, littering this map, and there's one that I don't remember playing prior that I came across while grinding. Um this, um, this map. I don't remember playing it. I don't even remember seeing it. And so, when I moved my, um, 
well, I guess, icon. And when I moved to the icon, I decided not to play it during uh, grinding, because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I uh, wanted that reaction to be um, different. Um, ah, the retired hero. But, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm liking the map so far. I just don't know what to expect with this one. Uh, if the image is in any occasion, it's going to be kind of a tight arena. So, that should be fun. Um, also, while grinding, I made it a point to find out, yeah, you can use saves from the legit Japanese original disc with this translated copy without any real errors, apparently. So, I was able to do that. That was nice. Kind of preserve the Dreamcast for whenever I want to fire this game up in the future. Okay. Oh, that that's... Oh, whoa. Now, the real question to me is, are there invisible walls on this, or can I, like, fall off? Because that would actually be kind of cool. I don't know if you can ring out, but I don't want to find out the hard way, and I have a feeling that on my first time on this stage, I'm gonna. Okay, whoa. I am not doing a lot of damage to this guy, and he is on point. Of course, my range is an issue. These uh, shots are not exactly the fastest. It's actually the same problem I was having with uh, Nine Ball in uh, yesterday's stream. Is uh, the guy's a lot harder to hit while he's up in the air, and I am trigger happy, so I don't manage to. Oh, this guy wants to range. This guy wants to be ranged right here. So, kind of having a nine ball light moment here. Okay. Let me try that. Okay. That's how you want to play. Oh, see? Right there. AI wanting to get behind me. Okay, but. Oh, wow, getting tag teamed in here. Block. Okay, I don't know what that was, but, you know, it, whatever works. Yeah, I don't think I want to lose this match. This is kind of a warm-up, because it's been a little bit since I played. Uh, it's earlier day, but, you know, took a break and a nap. Eight naps. Feels like you're wasting... Uh, it just feels like you're burning daylight when you're, when you're doing that to me. Okay. Damn it! I'm... I was hoping to avoid summoning squires, but doesn't look like that's going to be an option. Let's see. This guy's only got the one squire, and it's in sad state of repair. Ooh! Man down! Oh no, I do not need to get near this guy. Oh, I just lost him. <sighs> Let's see. Does not look like I lost any parts, though, in the preview, so it's fine. And I hate naps, though. I really do. Feels like you're just wasting time there. I know there are supposed to be good for you. I don't remember all the reasoning behind that shit. Um, but yeah, apparently, I, I, I seem to remember a while back reading that some office businesses in Japan have like a mandate where you like have to take a 15 minute little power nap to, to keep productive. So that's, um, that's a thing, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess having the heightened acuity of a, of a fresh mind and fresh set of eyes, you know, doesn't hurt, but it's never really worked well enough for me to, well, I haven't exactly done empirical testing, but, uh, but uh, subjectively I don't feel it's worked well enough for me to pursue the Revenger.
Avenger. It's like two letters away from being a system of a down song. That's two days in a row that I've had to mention them. I have got to listen to more of their music sometime soon. Ugh. Love those guys. I don't... Yeah. Listen to every album of theirs up to Mesmerize and Hypnotize. I have not listened to their stuff after that, though. So I am behind. And I haven't listened to that Bowie stuff yet. It was suggested to me yesterday. Um, but that's coming soon, because I, I, I'm making another playlist for work that's not just solely rock stuff, and I want to probably throw some of that on there. Get copies of that. Ah! Where's he? You ass. Come on. Okay, you want to dance? Let's dance. I, he, every instantly behind me. Whoa! That did not sound good. Okay. Move back a little. Oh, I did not mean to jump there. Okay. Come on, here. Yeah, get in the pit where you belong, you piece of garbage. Into the trash can with you! Mwah! Like, I don't mind dancing with you, but, dude, stay in front of me. So let's keep it cool. Oh, now you want to back up, you little butt munch. What the... What did I, what did I do there? Okay, doesn't look like I can guard when he's behind me, so that would explain why the AI prioritizes it so well. Which is all stuff I should have known by now, but, you know, not getting to grind as much as I want during the week kind of puts a damper on that. Come on, let me hit... Let me smash. I want to smash. Oh. Okay, move. Get out of there. Okay, whoa, he's not making it easy, which is, you know, what he's supposed to do. Oh! Protect me, squire! Would have felt a little bit more comfortable if I could have done this without uh, squire help. You know, don't want to potentially waste resources if this guy goes down. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Okay. This just makes me want an Armored Core game that much more, too, or Frame Gride would be great to pull stateside. Just something new in uh, this arena. Classic arena mech combat. Whoa, that's not good. Need to get out of here. Yes! There we go. Something classic arena mech goodness. There needs to be something new out at some point. Because there's not enough, and I haven't gotten any of the Gundam games that have come out recently. I just don't... I just don't know enough about Gundam, where I know if I'd be comfortable purchasing some of the Gundam stuff that just like has a wide swath of Gundam history playable throughout there. I just just feel weird to me. Okay, what was that last one? Uh, Gundam Battle Assault? I don't know. I'm gonna butcher the title if I try to think of it. Okay, so that was a win. Save every time I win, just for the extra grind. And that's my save file, so... That's my save file from the grinding. Okay. Metal! Oh man, speaking of battle, oh my god. I, I need to look up to see if any of the Mario Kart games in recent years have had the battle mode that they used to have in them. I remember on, uh, of course, Super Nintendo and 64, they had the battle mode, and I think one of the games, I think, I seem to remember seeing one of them on Wii or Wii U. 
having that. Not owning those systems, I can't really say, because I've never played them. But, uh, yeah, that was always fun. Even with uh, the Mode 7 jankiness of the Super Nintendo one, that was... That, that ice stage, though, was kind of a pain in the ass. Ice stages, though, are just... It's like they're designed to be hard as hell. What stage did I put this on? Did I just put this on the same map as the last time? Because if I did, I'm going to have to finish this up and move on to a different map. I don't want to do the same map every time on this stream. That's just boring to look at. Oh, good. I didn't... A little wide open space. Sit down. Whoa, what the hell? Did he just... Looked like he did a quick step as fast as he moved. Okay, getting the hell away from that. I don't wish you could shoot that thing right now. Move! Okay. Well, I don't feel quite so uncomfortable. Oh, he's got a squire out. Yes! Extra credit! Okay, I haven't hit his squire even once, though, is the, is the thing. Okay. Alright, you little... Alright, the little dude's gotta get in front of me sometime, which means... Once he does, he dies. What the... Whoa, I'm barely doing anything to this guy. Of course, it probably has something to do with the fact that I don't remember the elemental um, alignments in this game. It's like, I don't know, maybe he's like... He's steel type and I'm normal type, so... He doesn't parse. Uh, whoa, what the... MMO logic, do not stand in a fire. Okay. Your whole purpose of being to just stand around in little fire circles? Because, I mean, if so, you know, props to you. you. You do you, but... Rainy's got a gun. What? Four? Alright, where was my... Ah, there you are. Oh, he's down. Good. Beat the gems out of him. Resources! Oh man, all this stuff coming into E3, though. I'm kind of optimistic, though, for Dead or Alive 6, so I might actually purchase that. That'll be the first Dead or Alive game I have actually purchased. All of the rest of them, uh, I've either borrowed from my brother or, or whatever, and... I never actually owned a Dead or Alive game. Not even the old PlayStation one. That was another one that my brother had. I liked the final boss in him, even though he's basically just... To me, he was just basically a Kuma. I'm sure there's... more complex lore behind him. But, you know... What? Quit, squirm quit squirming. I'm in... It's time for Squires. I don't know, I, I gravitate toward edgelord characters. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I know what I like, and it's kind of lowest common denominator. But still, soul bad guy, my favorite character in Guilty Gear. Um, Bedman's pretty fun, though. Um, for some reason, Bedman kind of reminds me of uh, actor and comedian Gene Wilder. His way of talking really reminds me of a younger Gene Wilder. Oh.
Loading! Okay. I don't know why I was expecting the sound to come in sooner in my ears. I know there's a delay, but, you know. I don't know. It's being dumb. Ooh, boy. Yeah, in about 20 minutes of stream time, I'm going to take a crack at the boss. Um, 20 minutes, or whenever I finish the match, that happens around 20, min 20 minutes. Uh, so, it'll be, I guess, 4.40 local time. So, yeah. Because I want to give that guy another shot. Kind of a sucker for beating my head against the walls. Okay, that was a different map. Forsaken Town. I love the Grudge Arena. Because I can't possibly edge lord any harder. <laughs> I regret nothing. Tarot cards keep reminding me. I need to. I need to look into the JoJo series. I got a little bit into. Uh, God, what was it? Diamonds are unbreakable. The anime version. I never read any of the manga. Never finished it. I. I just. I don't give a rat's ass for Josuke. I. I. I don't care. Jotaro was fun, but you know, as much as I just have made the Edge Lord statement, like. A dozen times this stream, uh, his old man is better. His uh, granddad, I mean, was was better. Joseph Joestar, favorite JoJo that I've seen. Yeah, quit, quit that, cut that shit out. You want to dance? Yeah. The AI absolutely wants to be behind you. I mean, absolutely. Mm. Come on. Where are we at? Okay. Speaking of... Whoa, what the... Okay, that was colorful. His little... Wow, I'm getting I'm getting lost in the in the shuffle here. His his squire is definitely putting in work as a solid distraction, and I can't have that. Fortunately, it's less maneuverable than that little spindly thing in the last match, so. What in the Oh, shield, right. Okay, what the... Yeah, get some! Get some! Yes! Thought that exchange would go a little better, didn't you? I'm learning! Whoa! Not fast enough! Back up! Back up! Okay, he knows what's up. Move! I think I've lost this one. Yep. Boom. So close, though. But I didn't lose any parts, so I can just save and, and keep on moving. As long as nothing breaks. I should have pulled the squires out. I got overconfident. Lead a bit too cocky. Ugh. The Japanese disc, though, got me thinking pretty heavily. I need to pick up my Japanese material so bad. Um, yeah, there's heavy use of hiragana and katakana, the the the, the sound syllables that they they have, and um, 
for anyone who doesn't know. And so, yeah, I can actually read a small handful of those and know, like, a tiny handful of words. So, it was nice to see something that I could actually sort of read in Japanese. The, the ittiest, bittiest bit. It's making me itch to see if I can find a game that has just hiragana and katakana and pull out my old Japanese materials and try and learn alongside a game. No way will I ever progress, though, to kanji. I don't, I don't see that. Oh, right, I forgot that was unique about this stage. Let's see if I remember which one I just fought, fight on this map. Okay, he's not on that list. Huh. Let's see. Great Ravine. There was a forest one, which is right there. Okay. I think the Pokemon games are, like, heavily Hiragana and Katakana, which makes sense because they're, they're basically kids' games, so they want kids to be able to read them. You can't do that with um, high school and college vocabulary in there, basically. It's a lot harder. So, I don't know. Maybe find some, like, lower-level RPGs. Because I don't feel like playing Pokemon again, then. I can hear my Dreamcast through my headphones. That drive, that sounds painful. Yay, heavyweight! Let's see if I can get close enough to him to do something. Yeah, he's, he's not taking to the skies, so I can I can deal with... Oh, man, Squire, here we go. Here's where things get real. I think I've been getting a little too... eager to engage in melee. And I need to probably not. My melee skills are not where they need to be. Ah! Well, he's got two slots for squires. I can surely take one of them out. Hooray! And now he's got his second squire. Oh, and that's going to be another one of those pesky flies. But flying units in every game are troublesome. And I don't really know why. I mean, you know, you, when you know they're there, it's it's a thing you don't see. It's a thing you see in, like, just about anything. Verticality seems to be a sticking point for a lot of people. It always has been for me. I mean, look in, like, any movie, like, horror movies and stuff. I mean, look and see how many of these people... If, like, the killer is hanging from the roof above them or something, look how many... see how many of those people ever look up. It doesn't happen. It's not a thing. Okay, whoa. Come on, bring... bring... bring the reticle to the little murder nugget. Actually trying not to shoot the big one. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. Oh, cool. And now his squires are down. Okay. His squires are down. Why aren't my squires up? That's two. Keep him on his toes. still kind of a surprise to me that you can hit your own squires and, and such in here. I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, 
I'm not gonna say it's not. It's a nice. It's a nice touch. It makes you actually think about uh, about your surroundings. Oh no! One of mine's about to go down. Come on. Face me in combat. Oh, nice. Might be able to squeeze one, maybe two more rounds in. Having the different frames or whatever. What in the world? One moment. I'll be back shortly. Very shortly. Ah, thought I heard a knocking at the door. Hmm. Okay, well, enough of that. It's the downside to having headphones and having to monitor the uh, stream with them is that it kind of closes my. Uh, I... Well, I don't get to hear the stuff around me quite as well as I need to. Okay, what's that? That's the. Ah, that's that cave. But where was I going? Uh, right, the uh, frames and squires and having, like, you know, one side having more support than the other got me to thinking about how that that uh, that game Evolve is supposed to be shutting down. The asymmetrical hunters versus, well, basically kaiju thing. Um, yeah, apparently it's uh, free-to-play servers are doomed to die in... On September third, but the 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 peer to peer legacy evolve is what they're going to call it. The uh, the older version from before free to play, that one's going to stick around. They ooh right, can't use the joystick. So that the the old version of evolve that people basically paid for will still function because it doesn't have to have like a bunch of dedicated servers to. Uh, to do stuff and handle the connections, but uh, yeah, I never did play that game, and it's kind of a shame. Um, not because of their sales strategy, though, because their sales strategy was ass. I mean, I was complaining about Red Dead Redemption 2 yesterday. They did it worse. I mean, I seem to remember a lot of DLC packs for them. I mean, before they even went free to play. I mean. Why? Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I tried a Battle Royale game. That was interesting. I don't know that it's necessarily my thing. Okay, this guy is walloping my side. Um, but yeah, I tried a Battle Royale game. Didn't really find it to be my thing. Although it's a solid time killer if you just... It's like the fishing of first-person shooters, sort of, is, I think, the best way to for me to put it. Because, I mean, you've got all this downtime and everything, and, like, well, if you play it that way, and then occasionally you get a bite, and, you know, you might get something, or you might explode violently. Um, it's not bad. It's just not my, not my thing, per se. Oh, wow, that is, that's interesting. Squire at... Um, but I never have played an asymmetrical uh, shooter or similar game. Uh, that Friday the 13th game is the one that comes to mind. And I know there's others that I'm really not thinking of. There's a Abel game that's like a weird asymmetrical thing. It's like a one side is playing it like... RPG or action RPG, and the other side is the big bad, and he's like managing his minions and his evil base and all that. So, it sounded like a cool concept, and again, was free to play, but I don't know. Is it weird that that asymmetrical thing had less appeal to me? 
I love that blue and I love that machine. I always wish I could do like 3D models and stuff on PC. I, I took a CAD class way back in like when I was in seventh grade and never got any further with that, on top of which I'm not really an artist in the first place. Woo! Boomerang. Cool. But, um... Whoa. Quit running. You run from your fate! But yeah, it's like now I really wish I'd paid more attention and been a better artist in class, because this is something I would totally get into. I kind of wish someone would do this, like, um, now that 3D printers are a thing, make, like, a system of compatible joints or something, and, um, different armor pieces to make, like, custom mecha of different persuasions. Someone can make, like, their own and print out their own armors or something and make their own mecha on, say, like a six-inch scale or something. And everyone could just go through the part list, assemble their own dream machine, paint it up. Or hammer stop. Whoa. Whoa, come on. He's really good at getting behind me, and that's that's concerning. Okay, nice block, but, um, put that out. There you go, guy. You see, that, that's, what, that's what you do. I'm not trying to get away from you, just come on over here. I'll, I'll be happy to throw down if you can. Oh, you jerk. Boom! You know what? Yeah, I'm done with you. You don't want to stand in front of me? Yeah. You don't want to play like an idiot? Fine, I'll off you, because I, I need to get to someone who can play like an idiot. It is kind of cool that they made the AI where it tries to get behind you, but something about that tells me they knew one of the weaknesses of, of having a single camera stick in their... their playing to that because there's not there's not like a huge amount of deviation in the AI's playlist here not, not for these machines All right, it's 438 uh, I'm going to do one more regular battle then I'll jump in to that boss Okay. But yeah, it's like I need to get a 3D printer at some point, but holy crap. They're not like insanely expensive like they were at the start, and you can find like little small pre built ones that can basically put out utensils and small things. Or you can get one of the bigger custom uh, deals. Let's see, another map. That one's. I want to go snow blind. I don't think I've done that map this uh, this time, have I? I did that one once. Not there. The Cub. Yeah, anyone sees this thing, this video, and thinks to themselves, "Hey, I've got a 3D printer. I can make mech parts and like." a stick man with joints to put them on? Do it. Do it, please. I would totally love to see that. It's like patented. I don't give a shit. <laughs> if they're reasonably priced, I'd still buy them. If someone wanted to make action figures that way. Okay. Uh, keep trying to hit the X button on the controller to shoot. It's, it's like I know better. I should know better by now. Whoa, those are... Th that's a thing that happened. That is... 
I'm not doing jack to this guy with this weapon. He has one squire slot. Come on, call it out so I can get it out of the way and turn it to four on one. Okay. Running, 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 running through the sand. Running, 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 because this day didn't go as planned. Oh. Yeah, this this guy's... I figured this guy would actually be a little more agile the way he's moving. Ah. Squire? Oh, he's got one of those. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to swat down. I should know. I've used them to great effect. I like the, using those those ones. I think that's like my favorite squire type. Yep. You sit down. Come on, a little more. Okay. Speaking of squires, here's one. I'll see your flying dude and raise you a spider. And another completely different flying dude. Okay. So long as I don't kill my own units. I think he's getting desperate. I, I, if I just saw that correct, he just used that uh, burst thing that takes one's own health. So... <laughs> Hooray! AI getting desperate. That's usually my shtick. Okay! I think he might actually take out one of my squires, though, so that's a bit rough. Alright, this is going nicely. Ah! So long as I don't punch my own unit again. Yes, he's down. Awesome. One gym. I don't even think that's the one that I was supposed to have gotten from that squire, but hey, it's it's a game. So I'll take it. Mm. Mm. Save. It's just weird to me to see eight memory card slots. I'm holding the controller, I am looking at the system, and I know why they're there. But it's weird. It's like it's not registering to me that with four controllers there's eight memory card slots. I kind of miss memory cards being a thing, but... Ultimately, I'm glad they're not a necessity anymore. Okay. But VMUs? VMUs are awesome. I like this. Little. I wish I'd had my webcam equipped, could turn it on during the stream, because there's a little spider bot just dancing across my controller, and it's like... it. That's, that's just fun. Well, now it's just the game logo, but, you know, what the hell ever. Go back to the dancing spider, because that's what I need to be thinking about before plucking away at the final boss. Zidlanel. <sighs> the weapon of cows. Didn't the French have one of those in, in Holy Grail? Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Okay. Time for things to get weird.
Okay. I gotta remember, melee is not a thing in this game. Whoa! Not in this fight, anyway. Because I seem to remember... ...getting just shut down. There's one squire. There's two squires. There's three squires. And now that I have them out, I should probably be a little more careful about my shots, but hey, I'll... Oh! Getting good damage in on oh, this background. I think maybe I should wait until, like, maybe one of us is at the halfway point. Whoa, why did I... Why am I getting close to him? I know better than that. Come on, move! Oh, wow, one of my squires is super dead. I'll be reloading after this round. It's that green flyer, it looks like it's gone. That said, this is going, whoa, much better than prior attempts. Let my energy build back up a tad. Alright, there's that gym. So, you know. It's not for nothing. I mean, obviously, unless I unless I beat the game, I am not saving. Move. Can't boost. Damn. Mmm! Okay, this... now it's getting a little bit more tense. What? I'm not even seeing entirely what I'm getting hit by. There was obviously that one thing, that one pink localized blast. That! I saw that I was getting hit by that. Kind of hard to miss when it fills your entire field of vision. Hey, I got a gem out of it, though. The gem that was from one of my own units getting blown up, but... Okie dokie. I want to try that again. He went... I got more damage in him on that thing than I, than I expected. Okay, let's see... Load... It's nice that it doesn't have to, like, go to a black screen, fade in, reload, and all that from, from the save. It's just load and you're right back to this menu. That's that's fun. It's great. Okay, let's see. Setup. Okay, I seem to remember there being a certain back weapon of note. Can't remember which one it was. I've got a frame gride ab open. Oh, grab the mic while I'm looking this up. Yeah, the guy. Ooh, ooh. The guide in question is authored by a Jay Gonzalez over on Game FAQs. And uh, ooh, hoping I'm not blowing anyone's ears out. Whoever listens to this, but uh, yeah, Jay Gonzalez. I remember the tip in question being down at the bottom. Where's the end key? It says bazooka projectile, so I don't even know which one that is. Let's see. Second from the top to bottom left to okay. It's like a small handgun? What? I don't know what the guy's even... Okay, I don't know if that's the one that he's talking about, and... Hmm. Of course, that's... Wait, no, that's... These are the back weapons. He's talking about the hand weapons, I think. Let's see. Let's 
check that list. Is that the one? Yeah, I already got Panic, though. S Strike. Alright, well, let's see. Put that mic back in place without much churning. Okay, so I've got the blue W and a little horizontal orange. Those ones I seem to remember being a bit hard to come by. Alright, blue little W. Oh, there we go. As I only have one of them. Damn. Oh, well, it's not like I'm going to likely be winning, so I likely won't have to save this, and I can go back and experiment some other time. Looks more like a weird firework launcher than anything. Uh, let's see, setup. Panic. Estra Whoa! Okay, the attack on that's pretty high. Alright, let's see. Maybe I should save that, because that's... That's a lot of attack power. Hmm. I've got this round, and then maybe like one more. Before I um, knock off for the day. <sighs> Burninating the countryside! Burninating all the people! Burninating the peasants! In the thatch roof! Cottages! Thatch roof cottages! And the drum door comes in the night! One of these days, I'm going to get another van, and I'm going to move some of my streaming equipment out into that van, and then I'm going to be able to scream with a little bit more impunity. Further away from buildings. Whoa, okay. Pew! 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 Okay, I'm hitting him, I'm doing some damage. Okay. Okay, that was not a good button to, combination to press. I'm trying to remember, there's some way to activate the shoulder button, the shoulder weapon, and I, for the life of me, cannot remember it. Oh, that's 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 rough. This thing takes up a lot of juice, though, to, just to fire. Of course, I've got boss music from Legend of Zelda going through my mind right now. Because I'm sitting here, I'm reminded of the Volvagia fight in uh, Ocarina of Time, that uh, fire dragon in the... Whoa! Man, I thought I might be able to avoid that happening. I mean, I didn't predict it coming, but, you know, I figured, hey, if he does it soon, maybe I'll... Oh, wow. Missile salvo here. Okay, let's do it. Squire one. Keep him preoccupied, because... Whoa! Aw, oh. oh, man. Thought I'd be able to get out of the way of that. Probably should have traveled with the beam instead of up and against it. I'm still... I still got him down to like a third of his... Got him down by like a quarter or a third of his health. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Can't boost. Come on. It's got to be because my legs are damaged or something, because I, I cannot boost at all. Okay, let's see. Another squire? Oh my god, I am out! What the... 
Where the hell did that purple blast come from? There's got to be a way to predict that. Or that stepping over mines is some crap that I'm just completely missing. Ooh, this Dreamcast has some music! Love this music! Love the sound chip on the Dreamcast. This is good! Ooh, boy. Okay, I, I kind of like where that gun was going. I like where that was heading off to. One moment. Okay. Record. Load. Boop. Now, I remember the components to that weapon. Let's go straight into... I'm going to try that, that strat with, um... I think the middleweight frame. I kind of... I kind of want to do that. I don't know that's the smartest thing, but... Uh -huh. Oh, one moment while I... I've been totally off of the... chat tab on my uh, laptop for like the past couple minutes. Let's see... Frame... Cores! Let's see that... Arms... Okay, it actually looks better when it's in a machine's hand. That thing just looks weird when it's just sitting there floating, spinning on the little platform or whatever. This is probably ill-advised. I'm using a lighter machine with less health. It's faster, but fast doesn't always protect you from explosions and bullets. And exploding bullets. And beams. That also explode sometimes into bullets. I need to give Ikaru again another shot. But if I do, it's going to be the 360 version. I'm not buying that for Dreamcast when I already own it on another platform that's easier to stream. Now, the only downside to that is um, playing that game. I noticed there was some like tiny text at the bottom, like the start of loading on some of the levels. That text was illegible, and I had a much smaller display at the time. I don't think it'd be much easier to read now. But oh, that's whoa! What the hell? Uh, yeah. There we go. There's one squire. Get this guy in there. Okay. Ooh. Don't get close. Okay, he's those little spurs definitely do damage. Holy shit. He takes out my legs. I'm pretty much boned, I think. Move away from the tail. Holy crap. Oh, I got another squire here. Hmm. This is actually going better. I mean, I was not expecting this. Whoa, move away from the green. We're actually much more even now. I mean, I expect that to change, but, you know, it's a nice feeling right now while it lasts. Whoa, what the? Let my energy build up and wallop. Okay, there's some gems. There's a gem over there. Why am I even thinking about that? I don't, I don't need that unless I win. Okay, my legs are about to give. 
But I mean, I'm already down to like halfway through his health, and I mean, it's fairly even now. I mean, unless he has like another stage, I might actually be able to swing this. I'm not gonna like get my hopes super high up, but that'd be nice. Oh man. Move, 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 move! Holy crap. Let the energy build. Whale, he's stationary and... Oh man, now I'm behind him again. Okay, let the energy build while he's moving and then... Oh, man. That might not have been the best move, but hey, we're still relatively even. Okay, now he's getting ahead, and I'm gonna lose, but hey, at least I know what machine I want to use next time. Oh, yeah. Oh, welcome back, King Thunder. Howdy. Oh yeah, you're toward the tail end of the stream. I actually was uh, gonna call it after this one, but I kinda wanna give this boss another shot after how well this went with the middleweight machine. Um, <laughs> front mission and near stuff. Funny thing you should mention, Nier, apparently Microsoft announced that a complete edition of Nier Automata is coming to the X-Bone, which isn't enough to make me wanna get the X-Bone. I'd just stick with the PS4 version since I already have that system. But just throwing that out there. I'm totally going to do that boss one more time. I'm, I'm liking where that was going. Um, I think I just need to keep moving while he's moving and let my weapon build up his charge until he's stationary. Because that was going well. Um, the big difference between this time and the time's last stream, though, was... Where is it at? A different weapon. Where is it? Uh, yes, this thing. Pretty high attack power. Chugs energy like a monster, but... Hey, if I'm... I haven't saved with this thing in my possession, so... Nothing lost if I... Oh, wow, I'm drawing a complete blank. Ooh! But yeah, I only got a minimal amount of grinding in today, and did confirm that you can easily use saves between the Japanese original disc and the translated copy. I just wanted to be sure there weren't any, like, weird bugs or errors switching between the two before I committed to that. So I can use the, um, additional, I can use the old disc. Let's see. Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I haven't seen the trailer for that, but I did catch the current release date, they're saying. They said apparently sometime early in 2019 on one website, and another website said January 29th. Not holding my breath, considering it's been, what, somewhere in the ballpark of 12 to 15 years since the last four Kingdom Hearts entry? But, uh, yeah, I need to see that trailer for that, because... Of course, I also need to beat Kingdom Hearts 2 at some point. I've never actually started it, I don't even think. Um, I actually have a copy of that. Oh. oh! Oh, crap, I forgot to... You know what? Yeah, I screwed up here. I meant to... Uh... I'm soft resetting. I screwed up, and I forgot to equip the machine that I was going to use. So I'm going to soft reset, and I'm going to do that boss right Ugh, stupid brain! Don't make me come up there with crayons! Okay. Thankfully, the prep is relatively light. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, they still can't decide what Kingdom Hearts is, whether it's a place, or it's light, or it's inside all of us, or it's a taco stand down in, like, San... Francisco or what so when they get that sorted I think maybe they can write a better story around it but 
I'm still interested in playing and I'm still curious. That's in Square Enix. Yeah. They, they keep saying they're going to release it. I'll believe it when I see it. Like the Final Fantasy VII remake they're saying is supposed to be due out by... I think they said, like... Well, they didn't even give a date. It's like people put together because, like, working on the PS5 that maybe by 2021. So... It's like people bought PS3s so that they could play Kingdom Hearts 3. People bought PS4 so that they could play Kingdom Hearts 3. It's looking like I'm going to have to play PS5s so that they could play the FF7 remake. So... Square Enix. It's like they know how to make good games, they know how to assemble really good teams of people, but... Oh, probably need to check my Squires as well. But they just keep stringing people along. It kind of pisses me off a bit. <sighs> One more thing while I'm thinking of good games. The presentation I'm waiting for tonight, it's not Microsoft's, which is apparently going on right now. It's not Bethesda's that happens at 9.30 tonight. What are they going to do? They're going to announce Skyrim for um, Palm Pilots and... and Electric toothbrushes. Um, Devolver Digital. Oni plays LP of Cringedom Hearts 1. Or, okay. I've heard of them. I don't think I've seen anything beyond, like, I think I saw one of their cartoons way back, maybe, maybe on Newgrounds. Um, I'm not familiar with them, but I've heard of them. But, uh, yeah. It's it's not uh oh where's it it's, okay yeah good point Square Soft knows how to make games good games Square Enix does not um good point actually um I can't remember if uh, FF10 was Square Soft or Square Enix because I know that happened around that time and I liked FF10 but after that I don't think I've really played a lot of FF um, there was. FF12, I own a copy of, never completed. I'm Bosch von Ronsenberg! I'm bon uh, Bosch von Ronsenberg! I'm Captain Bosch! That shit got really old. But, uh, yeah, not Microsoft, not, X uh, not uh, Bethesda, those are not the presentations I'm interested in. Tonight at 11, and I'm not going to be awake for this, I'll be... Way asleep. What are they? What are they? Devolver Digital is uh, holding apparently their second E3 press conference. It's probably ill advised going on ahead and getting the second Squire out, but whatever, I'll take my chances. Um, and Devolver Digital, um, you may or may not have seen this. Recently on Twitter, they dropped an image. And if I'd seen it on its own, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. It was the seal of the President of the United States. That was all there was to it. And I didn't think about it at first, but, you know, it's pointed out in uh, a couple articles. Yeah, and I'm, I've mentioned this before and totally forgot about it. They have expressed interest in porting Metal, uh, Metal Gear... Uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. Blech. Metal everything but the right thing. And so... People are thinking they may actually announce a port of Metal Wolf Chaos. I am more interested in that than Kingdom Hearts, and if they actually announce that, that game's purchase will supersede just about any gaming purchase I have to make until it comes out that is not an Armored Core purchase. Because I really want to finish that series retrospective. But Metal Wolf Chaos, if they if, if that actually releases stateside, then I am super in. Bonus points if they keep the original audio and dialogue. Oh, I'm gonna lose this round. Hmm. Maybe I need this gun and this element on the other machine. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lose this so hard. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not holding out a lot of hope of uh, From Software allowing the, the thing, but it was pointed out on, uh, on a couple of articles that that seal was the president's seal from that game, so it would it would be awesome um, to the level I wouldn't expect or even really hold my breath for. Dragon Ball P and Dragon's Ball PP and Dragon's Ball P. Okay. Ah, screw it. One more time. Um, you know what? As much as I like that gun, I'm going to go ahead and make that gun again, save, and then do this one final time. Then I've got to go ahead and get back to my usual tedium. But I watched uh, part of the opening to Devolver Digital's last E3 presentation. That was that was demented. The uh, presenter coming out there, you know, all the uh, massive. I know it was staged, but you know, it's just fun. It's like it's fun in the vein of like you know how I used to think about wrestling. She comes out there, all this applause, and uh, she's just sitting there nodding, smiling. It's like thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, really, thank you. And they just keep applauding and applauding. It's like, okay, you just, just, you can stop now. And they just keep applauding. And she's just like, you know what? Whatever. Pulls a revolver out from behind her. Fires a bunch of shots up in the air. Empties the shells out. Reloads. Fires another couple shots. It was just fun. I, I probably should have watched more of that presentation. What was I? Frame. Big guy here. Set up. Just trying to imagine what the chaos would have been if that were not staged. Rare. Microsoft wanted Rare to make a horror game with Guillermo del Toro. Proto PT? Okay, that that would have been interesting. Um, Microsoft, they they have a lot of of pull, and it's kind of sad that didn't happen. Uh, let's see, Squires, how am I? 8340, I could do something. It's like I feel like I should make something other than Anmia here, but... Let's see, Squires. Let's list them. Okay. It cannot exceed... 2500 is what it cannot exceed in, in price. Uh, repeat what I just said. Um, all I could think of was PT when you when you mentioned the um, Microsoft thing. My first thought was Proto PT or something. I don't know. It, not necessarily that, but you know, that's the direction my mind went. So, let's see what we got: glider, flying. Hmm. Yeah, it's like I I I, I say Microsoft has pull. They can they can do good things when they want to, but. Let's face it, I don't think they want to anymore. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that was Devolver Digital's uh, the last E3 presentation. I know it was totally staged, but the presenter came out there, a lot of applause, everyone's applauding, and you know she's just smiling, it's like, thank you, thank you, and they just keep going and going, and she's like, no, really, just tries to get them to stop, and she's like, basically, F it, pulls a obviously fake revolver out from behind her, shoots up a bunch of rounds into the air and empties a couple rounds out and then loads a couple more in, shoots a few more. It is dumb. It was fun, but it's is dumb. C31. I don't think I'm going to make another squire for this. Yeah, there's no way. I don't think I can afford to. To battle! So apparently that was Devolver Digital's first E3 presentation. 
I was reading an article about it. It was scripted and everything. I mean, it's, what little I saw of it was fun to watch, but... Uh, Oh my god, I want, I'm going to have to go back and watch that, and if tonight's presentation they do is anything like that... I mean, fingers crossed. I know they're probably going to spend a good bit of time talking about, uh, what was it, Serious Sam 3 that they're pushing? Um, but yeah, fingers crossed for Metal Wolf not holding my breath. Everyone just immediately jumped to the to the call though on, on Twitter. I went and looked at their Twitter page and it's just Is it time to start believing in our own justice again? It's like, okay. I was unaware that that time ever stopped. <laughs> oh man. But for an E3 uh, intro that, that, that's like the most fun I think I've ever seen had in an A3. That just looked like nothing but fun. Okay, you and your missiles, you, you cut that out. And have some friends! Oh, okay, oh, forgot to change the element type. Crap! Oh, ah. friendly fire, friendly fire. Okay. Okay, whoa, move! Trying to stay away from him. I remember reading to kind of move toward him when he launches those projectiles. I completely let slide, but... Boost toward! Oh, I did not move soon enough. Okay, come on, come on. He is in the lead for damage. Front mission HD collection, yeah, that definitely looks awesome. That, that that would look that would be super awesome to have. I mean, even if it was just the first three, I'd be interested. But you know, the more the merrier. Front mission game that I I've never I I own it. I've never completed it. I haven't even gotten very far in. I've got front mission four. I think it's four. It's a blue cover, a logo in the middle, one person's sleepy head uh, pointing in one direction, another person's sleepy head in the other one. I'd have to, you know, actually look at... Oh! Ow, my lead! Woo! Trying not to get too close, because that, all of that. Trying to move toward when it's launching missiles, but not stay moving toward and getting wrapped up in that... Oh, boy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping this final round would... Oh. I was kind of hoping I'd have a little better luck on this final round, but I don't think that this is going to be a thing this time. Yeah, that's... Ooh. It's nice to know, though, I can get him in the red before I die. See that right there? I can totally live with that. Um, U.S. version... Okay, so 5 didn't come to the States, so then it must be 4 that I have. Um, <laughs> hmm. Dragon Ball Evolution... You know, that's not a bad birthday gift. I mean, technically, it, it, it but, but it's good to its, it's good for its point. <laughs> oh my god, I've got that movie over on my shelf somewhere. I need to watch through that maybe one more time, but not dry. If I can get the riff tracks to that, I'd really rather do that. Oh my god. Um. Wow, that is a bad movie. Uh. <laughs> I need to get Street Fighter the movie. I need to get a physical copy of that soon. I, I miss having 
access to a VHS player. I've got a copy on VHS, but I haven't watched it in so long. It used to be my annual bad movie. Hmm, good home and a fireplace. Before he does, though, I hope he puts it in the microwave, because I remember seeing what happens when you put CD or DVD in a microwave. That looks awesome. So... <laughs> I mean, it's going to get destroyed either way, but, you know, you get a pretty fireworks show out of it that way. But I have rambled on quite a bit long, so I need to go on ahead and ooh, call it for the day. Um, tomorrow, I will be back uh, with beating my head against another boss wall in the form of Omega Boost. I'm so going to be putting that on the Omega Boost playlist on YouTube, but when I'm done with that game... I'm making a short playlist as well that has just... that omits that particular grind. But, yeah, I'm a completionist, so I want to finish that game so bad. Um, I've beaten it before, that's why it's driving me crazy. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at 4, my usual time, with Omega Boost. And... I don't know if I'll do anything during the week, but I am optimizing some settings on the stream. Hopefully, I will be able to record some stuff that's just for YouTube, because there's like one or two games that I'm thinking maybe that I, that I don't think would be easy to stream because of so much dead time. But edited down would probably be better for a quick YouTube watch, maybe making little shorter episodes. But if I can get that running, that'd be nice. It'd give me some more practice with Shotcut. So... Thanks again for stopping by, take it easy, and enjoy any of the E3 press conferences that are coming up, um, and I will see you when I see you. And I also wish I could see my... Ah, there's the display. Alright, and thanks again. Take it easy, and I'll bring the nails.